Hey guys, welcome to another WoW video, and for today we are doing the Anarind Trail Achievement. So this one is a little time consuming because you gotta wait a few days between each event. Uh, but aside from that, it was pretty easy as long as you pay attention to when things are gonna happen. So basically your mission here is you're helping them get to their next destination uh, safely without harm. So you're just gonna kill along the pathway. Uh, so I would say I would stay unmounted, stay near the wagon, and also look behind you every so often because sometimes they like to come from behind. And yeah, so that would be my suggestion. But first things first is there is a requirement to be able to do this. So I think that's where we should start with this video. And that is that you shouldn't even think about doing this achievement until you are at least, and this is pretty easy. So like chances are you have this, but you need to be at least a renown level four with the uh, Merrick Centaur to unlock the camps. It's a super low renown level, uh, but just in case you're on a character that doesn't have that, I just wanted to mention that you do need some renown with these guys uh, or else you will never see them show up in these camps. After that, you will see the camps on your Anarin Plains map. So you can just open up your map and you'll see, you know, a timer for the next event. So, so with that, that makes it easy, you know? I don't really have to show you any locations here because it's literally right on your map. Uh, but I do have coordinates on screen right now. So basically your start points is Eagle Watch is 5552, River Camp is 7063, and, and Aleg Outpost is 7131. The event itself is not very long. It'll take roughly 15 minutes. You actually get credit for completion before you even reach their destination. So at that point, you can leave. If you see it complete on your achievement, you can just take off. I always felt like I wasn't really doing my job properly if I didn't make sure they got to the camp safely all the way. Because uh, at that point, mobs are still coming out, right? Like, they're still being attacked. So I always just escorted them right to the camp and didn't leave until I saw the, the dailies pop up. But, um, but it's, you know, totally up to you that, you know. You, you don't have to waste your time. You can just leave after you see the progression. As far as people, there's always people doing this, so you don't really have to worry about that. And the mobs are pretty easy. Uh, a lot of people say you need like 20 people. I, I will just say I never had 20 people out there with me. I think this right here is the most people I ever had at this these events and I believe we're counting roughly five people here so you don't need a whole lot um you know but I I would hope you know if you go to do it definitely hope for a person to also be doing it with you uh just because by yourself the mobs could get a little out of control and there is some boss mobs and all that so yeah so yeah that is the video guys I hope you enjoyed I just thought I would highlight this one in case um, in case some of you guys didn't know it existed and yeah it's super easy uh, the only bad part is it takes three days for them to move on to the next destination after you've escorted them so you will be waiting a few days in between. But aside from that, super easy. Takes, you know, no more than roughly 15 minutes to do. And yeah. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.